All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, Kodash, and double honor to the apostles of the great millstone that told me what I know today, and as well as giving you brothers your well deserved salutations as well. And um, Shalom to the Yakim Wakwaf Yam that support what we say and what we do on the side. Most importantly, heed to these lessons as we give them to you. Now, um, what I want to get into is this oil spill problem, which is happening in the state of Ohio and is reaching other places around that state and as well as going into how we even have that issue at the same time down here in the UK as well so much so that it's having an effect on the wildlife there too and you know this is just Esau being who he really is um now than more than ever before all right um as the scripture says that he is as deaf and cannot be satisfied so we're seeing the beginning of this already and uh, this is why we're in need of a, of a savior this is why we also hasten in the coming of the day of the lord because um it can't get any worse than this i mean obviously it's going to get worse excuse me it's going to get a lot worse but um like i said man esau is showing himself to be an instrument or they as a as a collective especially within the council of the wicked to be as deaf so now, just to fast forward, let's get right into this right here. Um, Ohio River disasters barge hauling 1,400 tons of methanol smashes into the dam. Three large barges, one carrying 1,400 tons of methanol, were wedged against a dam and partially submerged on the Ohio River. In Louisville, Kentucky, following their det detachment from the tugboat, the Louisville Metropolitan Emergency Services said the navigation accident occurred early tuesday morning when three barges part of a group of 10 broke free from the tugboat excuse me from a tugboat after hitting a structure at the entrance to the portland canal near the river is mac alpine lock and dam or locks and dam right as it reads and here you have the picture of this um company declaring that um you know the lock is temporarily suspended so there you go of the um mac alpine so there's a a couple of videos and what i'll do is i'll put a video on the post production so you can see what's going on over there uh, for those of you that are just not as uh privy to this you know you can check this out so yeah you know that's pretty much all i'm going to read right there the dam is in a bad situation right now because of this oil spill man Okay, and um, what I want to get into now is what I was talking about down here in the UK, how even during the Pool Harbor, you've had a major incident, as the article gives it away, major incident declared over leak from oil fields. And again, you know, as I like to say, all of these different issues, whether they're psyops, it's all done by purpose. I mean, why is it so that even down here in the UK, they're having the issue too of the oil spill or oil leak? All right. Because it's done by purpose, man. Okay. And um, the scripture that comes to my mind is the book of Isaiah chapter, I believe it's Isaiah 20. If I'm correct. Nope. Let's try 24. Here we have it right here. So this is um, Isaiah 24 and uh, verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant and therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate and therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. And it's going to get to that point. So this is why the earth is under a great deal of stress because what we have is a people which are bona fide sinners without the care in the world and they're leading us under the influence of, of just that in itself. And um, when you go against the earth, which the earth was made by the knowledge of the heavenly father and his only begotten son and as well as the, uh, the, uh, the rest of the powers 
um, that were there. You know, when you go into the, um, what is it? The book of Genesis 1, it actually goes into that. And when you go into the Hebrew, it mentions about the Allah Hayim, Okay. And when you also read John 1, John 1 and 1, that gives it away that you had Yahweh Shah that was there, which made the world pretty much. And that's why you have Christians that will tell you, oh, Jesus is God, as they like to call him. But we call him Yahweh Shah. That's why we use the term ignorantly, as the word ignorantly calls him Jesus Christ. Because that's not really his name. His name is Yahweh Shah. All right. So. Anyway, what I was saying was, is. These devils that have begun to rule the planet have governed the earth by transgressing the laws. OK, and this is why the earth is under um, under a curse, have you will. All right. So let me read this again. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate, and therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. And I mean, we can talk about land sabbaths, we can talk about laws on how to govern the people, and, and these sort of kind of things. All of these things that we're not doing. So when we, we, when we don't do this stuff, what happens is we make our lives harder, and we bring ourselves to a, um, a world of death which is what we're now under right now you know we're experiencing more death and and the decline of mankind because the earth is under transgressors by nature and therefore what you have just to add the icing on the cake you have philosophies that are contrary to the philosophy of the truth which is of yahweh bashmi al shai that these men that are in power are um you know influencing many to undergo by and then you have all of this mess physically happening here on this earth that these devils are doing by purpose because they really don't give a shit about nature. They really don't care about life. They're not about life. They're about death. That's why Habakkuk also tells you this too. I want to read this. Uh, this is um, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 5. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine. Again, going back to Isaiah 24, the earth is what is it? The file under the inhabitants are because they have transgressed the laws. So Habakkuk also goes and says this, as I want to read this again. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man and neither keep of at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as deaf. And I'm going to just stop it right there. So this man is as deaf. And the ultimate reason why he is as deaf, because he is a transgressor. That's the point. And that's why all of this stuff is happening. And there's been many other things that have been going on years prior, but it's much more um, official now as to what's going on on the earth. And the earth is much more sicker. People are much more sicker. And it's just more showing that these devils need to be removed out of power so that the right kind of people can be ruling the earth as it gives it away in the Apocrypha. That the, um, what is it? The power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord and he give it to whomsoever he will. And then eventually he will give it to those that are profitable. We are the profitable ones to lead the planet. According to the book of, um, what is it? Psalms 147 and 19, he showed his word and his laws and his statutes unto Jacob. And he have not dealt so of any other people. So the people that were showing these laws and these statutes, they would be more profitable to lead the planet. But the reason why this devil is ruling because um, this is his time to get his shine on it and showing what he's all about. According to prophecy, especially in the book of Daniel's the seventh chapter. So that's why he's in the power seat right now. And also we're beginning to learn what it means to live in a world of sin as well. Okay, so this is nothing more than a learning curve. But this is the point. Once again. And this is the thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward. I want to, um, you know, stop talking and we're going to get into this article. So this reads on um, Pool Harbor. Major incident declared over leak from oil field. Uh, the public is being urged to avoid using the water and beaches within the pool harbor in Dorset, southwest England, after an oil leak caused a major incident to be declared. Pool Harbor Commissioner, uh, the harbor regulator, said a leak occurred at a pipeline operated by a gas company, uh, Parenzo, under Oa Bay on Sunday. The incident which took place at which farm oil field resulted in an approximately 200 barrels of reservoir fluid being released from the UK's largest onshore field. Uh, Parenzo said a small amount of fluid consisting of 85% water and 15% oil escaped from its pipeline 
And that as of late Sunday night, some of it had already been recovered. Early indicators are that the surface slick is already dispersing pH C set. Uh, the commissioner added that the Parenzo had reported no risk of further leakage after the pipeline was shut down and booms were placed on either side of the leak to minimize pollution. A further assessment would be made early on Monday morning regarding the cleanup operation pH C set. So there's just more news and showing you um, that there's um, oil spills. And in this time, this is in the UK. So all, all of the uh, the sea life, you better believe, is, is being affected by this. I mean, you know, you want to talk about messing up the sea life's reproductive system. And just overall, um, just to keep it real simple, man, death of, of uh, the sea life. Again, this is what he saw is all about. This is this is an example of who he is. He's, he's as deaf. And um, as time is crunching towards his end, he's showing himself more and more of what he's really all about because they're simply running out of time. And uh, the, the goal is, 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 as always has been the case, going back to the, the um, you know, the, the most important model to the 33rd degree is auto app KO. All right. Causing chaos and then coming up with a new way of an order of governance. And that's part of the reason why they're destroying the earth the way that they're doing it. Again, using the Hegelian dialectic. So we're going to destroy the earth until we can't destroy it no more enough to the point where we can then basically, you know, come with an idea of how we, why as the, why we got to, you know, regulate. And this is more showing of, of uh, oh yeah, climate change and this and that and the third. The earth is, I mean, they don't care about the earth. All they care about is, is their power in this case this is why they're doing all of this man all right then they can blame climate change they can blame the people of whatever what whatever reason and that they can you know make up as to why they gotta really come with come with the uh the great reset as as they put it some months ago all right and as they still put it so anyway now let's go and get the book of matthew 24 and uh verse Matthew 24, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. And that's the reason why, as we live on this earth, what are we, what are we witnessing? The time speeding up. You know, you can get up and it seems like, it's, like you're going to be up for a few hours just to go back to sleep again. And then the next following day comes around. So that's just what's going on right now, man, because the Lord is hearing the cries of the elect that we're in need of, of salvation especially now man especially in this generation like the brother did the brother did the video on that regard too you know if there's any i think the title of the video was like if there's any generation that needs saving is this generation and i mean like i second that so now let's read this this is um ecclesiastes 36 verse 8 Seek the time short and remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonders works. And just like um, as it reads in Matthew 24, that if the days will not be shortened, that there'll be no flesh to be saved. And I mean, that's just where it's going to wind up. If creatures are dying out, then who's going to be next dying out? It's going to be us. All right. So more than how than ever before, something has got to give, man, because Esau is bugging the hell out. With his sinister plans and pushing. So um, that's pretty much all I have to say on this, man. Um, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah Bashmi Al And with that, I'm out. On to the next one.